Hi, this is TJR. And you may or may not be aware of the fact that singer-songwriter Ed Sheeran has been hit with a lawsuit uh, regarding his song Photograph. The lawsuit alleges that he plagiarized a song called Amazing, which was recorded by another recording artist named Matt Cardle uh, some years prior. Now, um, some of uh, the viewers on this channel have asked me if I would kind of highlight uh, some of the differences and similarities, like I did with the Stairway to Heaven Taurus video. And so I thought I would take a look at this. Um, personally, I'm not really familiar with either of these two songs and wasn't familiar with them really until this had been brought to my attention. So I took a little time to listen to them both and kind of get familiar with them. Uh, before I begin, though, I do want to state here, uh, before anybody jumps to any conclusions and starts sending hate email, um, Matt Cardle is not suing Ed Sheeran. He recorded the song, but he is in no way involved with the case. The case is being initiated by the two songwriters who wrote the song, Amazing, which Matt Cardle recorded. And Matt Cardle, in a separate tweet, said, I have nothing to do with this lawsuit. I think Ed Sheeran is a genius and he deserves all the success that he's received. And so I just want to make that clear first before people start jumping to conclusions. Now, uh, a couple things here. Let's talk about the songs in general. Um, both these songs deal with completely different lyrical themes. Uh, Amazing is a song where um, uh, an individual is expressing his gratitude, his, his, his disbelief in his gratitude, that his soulmate found him. And he's saying, you know, isn't this amazing that you found me? How did it happen? With so much going out there in the world, how is it possible? And is expressing this gratitude. Uh, in in um, the song Photograph, the lyrical themes have to do with memories and the cherishing of those memories. So lyrically, these are two different songs. Um, these songs musically are, for the most part, musically different from each other until you get to the choruses. And the choruses are what are in question here. And... Um, Something I should clear up also, the songs do not have to, have to be completely the same from start to finish in order to file a copyright lawsuit. Uh, just the chorus alone can be enough if they are considered close enough. So I just want to point that as well. So let's go ahead here and look at these choruses. Now, I should mention first that the choruses are in, or I should say the songs are in two different keys. Um, now, Amazing is in the key of C, whereas Photograph is in the key of E. And now, each song in the choruses, and once again, everything I'm going to be talking about is just dealing with the choruses, because the rest of the songs are completely different. But each of these songs here, during the chorus, the chord progressions are exactly the same. They both follow uh, what I would call a 1-5-6 chord progression. And what that means is... Um, you're playing the chord, the chord numbers correspond to the note number of the scale of the key that the song is in. And um, if that was confusing for you, um, I'm going to do a separate video that gets into the science, the music science aspect of this, the music theory of what I'm referring to that just now. And But for right now, I'm just going to gloss over that here and just talk about the songs here. So in Amazing that progression it goes like this in the key of C major, and that's one, five, six, four, or C, G, A minor, F. In E major, it's the same progression, just in a different key signature. So that goes one, five, six, four, or E major, B major, C sharp minor, now, if any of that sounds familiar, it's because the song Let It Be by the Beatles uses the same chord progression. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. There you go. Uh, now, however, uh, the songs, while well, they have the same chord progressions, the songs are timed completely differently. Um, both songs hold each chord for uh, four measures twice, so it's like, one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. That was amazing. Photograph does it the same way, just does it in a different key. So um so the 
chord pattern is the same. The chords are timed over the lyrics for the same length of time. That's exactly alike. So the next thing we want to look at is the actual melodies. Now, while these songs are in two different keys, I thought to better assist in hearing the similarities melodically with the, with the, uh, the melody of the lyrics, that I would put them in the same key. And so I'm going to put them both in the key of E major, which is the key that Photograph is in. And so let's go ahead here. Let's first start with Amazing. And here we go. Key of E. That's amazing. That's the chorus. How did you find me? You came out of nowhere like lightning. There you go. Now let's look at photograph also in the key of E. Here we go. photograph. So now the next thing we want to look at is the actual melodies that are being sung during the choruses. And we'll start here with Amazing. And for ease, I'm going to play both in the exact same key. I know that they're in two different keys, but I'm just going to, do, I'm tr going to transpose both of them into the key of E, which is the same key that Photograph was actually written in. And so let's start with Amazing. Key of E. amazing. Now, photograph, once again, key of E. There we go. So, when I hear it, I hear similarities, and when I look at the actual sheet music, I see similarities in where the notes land. Now, what I find here is that the opening of each lyric has similarities but differences, but they come very close when they get to the ending of the phrasing. As an example, the opening phrasing for Amazing. Um, da, 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 ends on an E. Now, um, the opening of Photograph, lands on a B. But what's interesting, um, the same notes are used, E, F sharp, G sharp, in the openings. They're just phrased slightly differently. Da, 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 da. Whereas photograph is slightly more simplistic, lands on B. But they both have that da, ba, and the same pause in between. There's that same pause. Then there's another pause. They each have the same exact pause in between before the next line starts. In um, Amazing, uh, the next part sounds like this. That you came out of nowhere like lightning. And then on Photograph, it's... Uh, It's a slightly more simplistic melody than Amazing. Amazing sounds almost like a piece of classical music, that one line there. Whereas Photograph is. Now once again, very similar use of notes. They go up the scale, down the scale. There's a slight variation that Amazing has that Photograph doesn't at the very beginning, but they both come down the scale like that before they go. And that is, of course, on Amazing, that's lightning. On Photograph, that's ripped jeans. Once again, they both play the same note there, a G sharp to an F sharp, same pause in between. 
And so you, it, the melodies at the beginning are similar but different, but they phrase at the end almost exactly alike. Now the second line here in Amazing is Kind of amazing how you found me uh, Through all the noise somehow Okay, and now um, photograph So um, that's holding me closer till our eyes meet uh, You won't ever be alone And so once again same thing um, it's using all the same notes. There's slight variations here and there. Uh, both, once again, have that thing on where, they, where at the end of the first phrase, the first measure, they do that, that walk down. And then, is amazing. And then, is photograph. You know, that da da Slightly different notes, same pause, breath in between. Same pause and breath in between till you get to the next line, which on amazing is... Uh, through all the noise somehow, and on a uh, photograph it's uh, um, you won't ever be alone. So very similar. If you look at the music here, and the music I'm showing you is actually in the key of E flat, um, I thought that putting it in the key that neither were written in was not a good idea. I thought I would just play it in the key that at least photograph was written in so there'd be, uh, I think it'd be easier to hear the, the similarities that way. Lot of similarities in the notes. Lot of similarities in the phrasing. Um, but once again, these are just the choruses. Um, by and large, when these things happen, I would say that 99% of the time, it's just musical coincidence. Uh, most music artists do not want to plagiarize each other. They want to be known for being original. Um, so 99% of the time, I would say it's just coincidence that this happens. Um, there is, of course, subconscious plagiarism uh, where, you know, you hear something, it gets buried away in your memory. Later on, you're creating something and it comes out. And that's why, you know, verses are completely different, but the choruses are the same. So that's basically it in a nutshell. Uh, we have two songs here that are lyrically different in two different musical keys, although I should add musical keys don't really matter. Um, their verses are completely different. It's just the choruses. And I'll admit, there are a lot of striking similarities between these choruses. Um, be curious to know what you think about this. If you've listened to these songs, what are your thoughts on it? And anyways, though, um, hope you enjoyed that presentation. I want to thank everybody that asked me to try to do this one. And um, I'll look forward to hearing what you have to say about it in the comments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Bye. Hi, this is TJR, and I just want to thank uh, the viewers out there who suggested that I take a look at these two songs. If any of the science, the music science that I used in this video baffled you, um, and you'd like to maybe learn a little bit more about it, uh, I'd like to make another video that explains some of that here, and be watching for that video. Uh, thank you so much. Looking forward to reading your comments on this video. Thanks. Bye.